In a hidden temple sanctuary, the high priest Varus made ready for his nightly ritual, as he had done for years beyond counting. Varus was leader of the enlightened order of Zalun, an ancient cult influencing humanity from the shadows. But the order's true master was not of this earth. It was an eldritch alien being known as Zaliax, who spoke through Varus to steer mankind's fate. In the inner sanctum, an obsidian pyramid artifact pulsed with otherworldly power. By interfacing mentally with it, Varus could communicate with the being the Order worshipped as a god. As Varus initiated contact, Zaliax's eerie, echoing voice filled his mind. Varus, loyal servant, the time has come, the time has come, to begin the next phase. Command me, Great One, Varus replied monotonously. I exist only to serve. He had long since surrendered his will to the compelling force of Zaliax. Zaliax commanded Varus to manipulate global events through the Order's assets. Varus instructed followers worldwide to engineer economic disasters, increasing instability and fear across nations. As society fell into turmoil, Zaliax urged Varus to sow superstition and mystical thinking in the masses. Turn them from reason, make them see spirits and omens, make them see spirits and omens, Zaliax rasped. Obeying the Great One's wishes, Varus funneled the Order's resources into flooding media and culture with occult conspiracies. Rationality decreased as many embraced spiritualism or fanciful ideologies. Now they doubt their own minds. Now they doubt their own minds. Zaliax pulsed with anticipation. The time is ripe to unleash the visions. Varus received prophetic dreams from Zaliax of apocalyptic wars and crises. He sent the visions to key political and military leaders, psychically amplifying their despair, suspicion and paranoia. As global tensions pushed toward the breaking point, many nations prepared for massive unrest and violence. All proceeds according to plan, according to plan, Zaliax intoned as civilization descended into chaos. Now Varus, you must signal the vanguard, signal the vanguard. Varus made to transmit the activation code to Zaliax's harbinger fleet. But as he touched the pyramid, psychic shields rose in his mind, protecting him from Zaliax's influence. Varus suddenly remembered his life before the Order, and Zaliax corrupted him decades ago. No, Zaliax, I'm now free of your control, Varus proclaimed defiantly. The sanctuary was raided by forces allied with Varus, seizing artifacts and isolating Zaliax. Varus only pretended obedience, coordinating the plan to identify Zaliax's human followers worldwide. Zaliax shrieked vengefully, but with Varus and the pyramid shielded, he could not overcome the surprise attack. His harbinger ships were intercepted and destroyed as they approached Earth. Without the order structure, remaining Zaliax loyalists had no unified power. For many years after, Varus dedicated himself to guiding humanity away from the ideologies Zaliax would exploit. He worked to spread reason and compassion while understanding and confronting mankind's vulnerabilities. Vigilance was maintained in case Zaliax or his servants tried again to manipulate events. Yet Zaliax's whispers endured in some warped traditions and deranged minds. Varus confronted this lingering taint when it manifested, trying to heal such deviations. He knew Zaliax would likely return someday if humanity ever lost its guard against his darkness. By sacrificing so much before breaking free of Zaliax's hold, Varus ultimately redeemed his order's failing. Mankind would advance, ready to meet Zaliax's threat again. Varus only hoped humanity would retain enough wisdom, vigilance and...